I would like to share with you some of my drawings, which is my way of being in solitary confinement on a daily basis, while actually maybe saying a few words about clock time, film, and the separation of the senses. I think something that many of us have felt while being confined to telecommunication is that human beings are not very good at the separation of the senses. It's very unsatisfying to live in an environment where you communicate with people through vision and hearing instead of uh, in a fully embodied way. The computer is the fruit of the separation of the senses, just like chronometry is. There's a processor inside the casing, but the processor doesn't think that the casing belongs to the processor. While us human beings have the hard time in thinking about our brains as not being connected to every nerve and fiber in our body. And I think that is the difficulty with telecommunication and with the telecommunication that you're looking at right now. One of the aspects that I noted coming from extreme virtualization is that digital does have its own matter and materiality. Virtualization is characterized by one thing, digital eats all it can. Years ago even, it occurred to me that virtualization was a little bit like losing one's sight or more of one's senses. As the urgence emerges from this loss of senses or coherence between the senses, the reflex could be that of hoarding and stocking of recollections for a future in which sensorial experience is no longer embodied but separate and is maybe no longer available, possibly because it is no longer tolerated. My own preparation for this confinement of the senses is taking stock of phenomena that are not at the center stage of our anthropocentric universe. Phenomena as the sun, the movement of wind, the presence of shadows, crystallization from water to eyes, the relation between oil and water, and most notably circadian rhythm, 